Dowdell Library's virtual exhibits. Due to the fact that we can't have our in-house uh, exhibits, we've decided to do something a little bit special and have the virtual ex exhibits uh, for now. My name is Mary Ann and I will be hosting today's virtual exhibit and filming our video is our own very own Holly Smith. Today we have with us Dennis Yanoski showcasing seascapes in oil. In fact, Dennis um, is a uh, 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 South Amboy High School alumni. Um, I didn't realize that, uh, which, is, which is a great thing. We're gonna ask him a few questions on uh, his art, his background, and um, how he came apart uh, you know, to do this type of artwork. So Dennis, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you uh, became involved in um, actual oil paintings. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, well, basically, I uh, was in South Amboy. I lived in South Amboy, and um, I really enjoyed art as I was growing up. Uh, and uh, when I went to the first art class at South Amboy High School, our art teacher, her name was Mrs. Reese. Okay. And um, you know, I, I really um, learned a lot from her. And uh, she helped me tremendously in giving me my first oil paints and uh, brushes and encouraged me to paint. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's how I started the uh, painting process in oils. And uh, nowadays, a lot of people do paint in acrylics, but I just stayed with oils throughout the years. And then thanks to her, I was able to get a grant to Montclair State uh, College at the time. Wow. And, uh, that's a university. Mm -hmm. And um, one of my favorite uh, classes was the painting classes. I guess I got better grades in painting than anything else. Uh, and uh, my teacher was, um, was uh, Mr. Barnett. And his father was Will Barnett, which is a very famous uh, American painter. And uh, he just let us uh, do our thing, and he did teach, and uh, he was a great mentor also, uh, Mr. Barnett. And um, so from there, I just uh, went to an art uh, company after college. I graduated with a fine art degree. Okay. I went to uh, a company in New Jersey, and I was an artist at the company. And uh, but I, I didn't care for doing the corporate type of work. Okay, all right, you know? yes. And uh, I just like to paint on my own freestyle, and especially uh, the ocean. Okay. I grew up in South Amboy and uh, would uh, surf the Jersey coast. And uh, so in my paintings, I try to feel the ocean, the waves. And, um, and so what I wanted to do with my houses and the places I lived, is have ocean paintings in my houses. And so when I painted, I wanted to make a painting that I want, you know? Yes. Not necessarily what other people want. So any painting I have here is something that I wanted to hang in my house. And uh, so that's basically how I got to the point of doing seascapes, because I felt seascapes were one of the greatest challenges to an oil painting uh, painter. Okay. Um, that being said, can you give us a little bit of background uh, um, on these uh, paintings, these seascape paintings that you that we have here for display? I mean, they're all gorgeous. I mean, I know a lot of people state that um, they like the ocean and everything because it has that calming effect, yeah. right? <laughs> but then also, too, uh, Mother Nature can have it really pounding down at you. Yes, yes. So if you could give us a little bit of a, a brief outline on, on these um, oil uh, seascapes. Okay, well, um, as you said, the common effect isn't really evident here. <laughs> but, but I wanted to show motion, and uh, I wanted to feel, and now that I do exhibit, so other, I want other people to feel the motion of the waves also, and the, and the motion of the ocean. So, uh, for instance, this was called. This is called uh, before Sandy. From these are all from Long Branch, right here. Oh, okay. So this is before Sandy, uh, Hurricane Sandy came in at Long Branch. I went down, and uh, the waves were, you know, crashing. And I guess there was about uh, you know, a day and a half to two days before Sandy was going to mm -hmm. hit the Jersey coast. So um, this depicted that. Time, and then this one right here. This is after, called after Sandy. 
And that's uh, about a week after Sandy, or maybe four days after Sandy. It was really violent. We could see the violence mm -hmm. in the waves coming in. And um, that got into one of the artist magazines, uh, National Artist Magazines. Wow. And, uh, that's great. Well, and then we have this one here. This is, uh, I just, I, this was Long Branch also, but at, at that day, the waves were forming in the abnormal manner. You know, and, it sh and the lights were shining through as the waves came over the top. You'll see this one right here, and, the, and you'll see light filter through the wave as it's breaking. Yes, yes. And I try to depict that in the picture too. Uh, and this one is called. Uh, well, this one is this one is called um, um, back. It's called back uh, back wash, back swell actually. Mm -hmm. And that happens when. <clears throat> There's, there's like a heavy, uh, a heavy wash of water going back out into the ocean, but also a heavy wave coming in, uh, normally at like a high tide, and they both hit each other and they come up and cause a little spray right there where you see the spray. Yes, right here. very nice, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so, um, and this one is called Incoming. And I just wanted to pick the light coming through. It's actually based on um, another painting that I made. My wife is a twin. And, oh. And I saw these waves coming in in twins. Okay. You know, and I said, you know, I'm, I Good to comparison. I want to paint a painting for my wife and uh, call it New Jersey Twins. You know? Very nice. And that actually got into another uh, national magazine. Um, so, uh, but that's why I, I painted the two waves coming through like this, and uh, the, two, the twins are coming in. All right, now, did you do a picture for your wife and her twin? No. Oh, you should have. That would have been a good holiday present. I want to make a video. Well, I, maybe now I have to give it to her. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Now, Dennis, I know that um, doing uh, seascapes and uh, oils is a pretty difficult. Um, can you... Uh, elaborate on that a little bit more because uh, you know for somebody like me or our audience out there um, you know we might not be too familiar with the different types of uh, painting mm -hmm. yeah well uh, for instance in when you go to art school they'll teach you um, in the fine arts they'll teach you um, like a still life painting so put an apple there with a uh, piece of fruit or something like yeah that, yeah piece of fruit and uh, a flower, and you paint that, you can come back anytime you want and paint it. But if you're out there and taking sketches of the sea, you know, it changes. It changes and it varies with the lighting, it changes with the time of day. If it's in the morning, you might have more fog, uh, less of a uh, burn off. For instance, the one behind you that was like high noon. Okay. And uh, you see the filtering of the light is different. So what happens is that now I want to capture the motion, and to try to capture motion in a painting is kind of difficult because you have to know contours of the waves, of the flat water that's coming in. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see the foam patterns, and that actually develops into patterns where you could capture motion also. And then when the waves are breaking over, uh, you want to capture that and to make it look like it's motion. So these things are, you know, it takes time to develop. And when I first started, you know, it's, it's frustrating. But then also you have to know what type of paints to use. You have to use a lot of translucent paints and transparent paints and not opaque paints. Opaque meaning white paint. Okay, that are like these types of paints you have here, that's what you're um, talking about? Yeah, I don't want to give away too many secrets. Oh, here, no, no, no I understand kidding. that. But no, plus two, when, no, you, you, when I had asked you about um, how do you, you know, if, you know, oil painting seascapes is um, very difficult. Now, you say you actually go out and you're actually sketching mm -hmm. first. I'll make sketches. And do you I'll take, take like photographs? Yeah, I'll oh, take okay. reference photographs. And uh, sometimes I'll just take the photograph and uh, manipulate the photograph. And sometimes I'll make a composite of various photographs and put it together. That's Obviously, interesting. That, that yeah. is not, you know, a composite. Uh, a composite right there, but this, I changed some of the rocks, I took a rock out here and there just to make the composition a little better. That's, that's your, uh, yeah. the artist's yeah. view of what he wants to see, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. 
Um, now, I know that um, you had mentioned on some of your uh, paintings that you had won awards. Um, how many awards have you won so far for your, for your artwork? Uh, well, it's um, basically, uh, it's, it was accepted into some national magazines. Wow. And um, the Artist Magazine, Southwestern Art, and um, a few here and there. Yeah, you yeah. Know. No, you have to be but, proud of yourself. I mean, that's an accomplishment. But mostly, mostly, mostly what I like to do is exhibit and sell. I'll sell at art fairs. Morristown has a really great art fair okay. every June. And uh, they bring artists in from all over the East Coast, from Florida to Maine. And I'll have about 60 artists put up tents and they'll sell them at the Vale Mansion uh, right near the Green in Morristown. And such a, you know, fairs such as that. And uh, exhibit in uh, galleries, various galleries uh, on Morristown River. Dennis, I know in, in the beginning when you were talking about your background and how you got involved in the arts, um, you were in high school and then at times you had stated that you were a little bit of frustrated with that but you had such great teachers. Mm -hmm. What kind of advice um, would you give someone that wants to get in a, um, started in the arts? And like, um, it doesn't have to be like a, a boy or a girl, a young child, you know, but um, somebody like my age might want to get interested. What would you say to them? Um, where should they start out um, to direct their talent? Uh, well, any, anybody can start at any time. I mean, people could be small, you know, children, little children, adults, 90 years old, you could start in the arts. And you could start in any medium, pick a medium that you're comfortable in, and subjects that you're comfortable in. Uh, you could do seascapes, you could do portraits, you could do still lifes. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, um, I taught fourth graders in a private school in Morristown. And uh, my goal was to allow them to bring home a painting so that they could hang. And then when they're, you know, 20 years later, they could look at it and say, wow, I did that. Okay. Yeah. So I gave them this subject to do in an 11 by 14 format. And I went through the process and the steps to do this. So anybody could do any of these paintings with these steps that I showed the fourth graders um, in oils. And so if the fourth graders could do it and they did a great job, uh, I think anybody could do it. That's fabulous. Um, where can uh, people view your artwork and purchase it? I know, um, I think you said that you have a Facebook page set up for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's uh, www. Uh, Facebook.com slash Dennis Joseph Yunoski paintings. And then if you go to that, there's a link also for a square store. Um, you could go to that store, but all my paintings are basically at the Facebook page. Okay. Facebook.com. Even if you go to Facebook.com and you uh, you search, do a search for Dennis Joseph Yunoski, my site will come up. Oh, perfect. Yeah. That makes it a lot easier. Yeah. All right, we're going to end the interview part. Um, of this video. Um, thank you again, Dennis, for sharing your talent with us and our patrons. Um, we all hope uh, everyone enjoyed today's virtual exhibit and look forward to seeing your exhibit uh, physically in the library in the very near future. Um, don't forget, patrons, uh, stay tuned for part two. Um, of this video. We um, have a special uh, treat. Dennis has decided, to, uh, graciously decided to demonstrate the process from starting to end of doing a actual canvas. So don't forget to uh, check out part two um, after this interview on YouTube.